whistles that we can use to train animals. You might hear us blowing our whistles. That's how we communicate to the animals that they've done a great job. Take a look at Vicky down there with a the target pole. At a very young age, the animals are trained to touch their body parts to the end of that target pole where the buoy is. And that is how we can shape a lot of the behaviors that you see them do. And of course, something very important, a reward. So you might see the, the trainers offering the whales fish, but we also like to offer them what we call secondary rewards. And that might be ice cubes like Christy has for Makani and Kasaka, maybe a snowball, a warm water pour, or a rub down. We offer them a variety of different types of rewards for reinforcement. All right, so the behavior you're going to see today is a new behavior we're training for our orca encounter, and it's a spy hop in the center of the pool. So you just saw the signal. This is something we've been working on for a couple months now, so they're kind of further along in the training process. This definitely is, in the beginning, is not in the beginning stages, more in the middle stages. And what we're looking for, which they understand, is to come up in the center of the pool, and you're going to see that. I'm going to guess they're all going to do it correctly. And even better, so we're also looking for them to not all come up at the same time. Typically, when we're asking the animals to do behaviors together, we're asking for them to do them within group contingency, which means at the same time. So something challenging for this behavior is we're actually looking for them to not do it at the same time and to kind of do that type of movement, like little popcorn stagger type maneuvering, and they did a great job. All right, it looks like we're going to try it one more time. So it's a part of different approximations in how we get that end desirable behavior. All right, so there's the hand signal that you're seeing. Research 